Hey guys, what you're looking at here is butterfly weed, also called Asclepius tuberosa. It's a species of milkweed and I think it's really beautiful. They say that this is a uh, good host for butterflies, but it's also pollinated by wasps and uh, honeybees. Apparently there's lots of nectar. Check it out. These are the seed pods, and in them you have a really unique seed system. Check it out. The seeds come out of these pods and fly into the wind with like a little parachute type system, kind of like a dandelion. But it's amazing because it's such a really light fluffy little carrier and um, if you look at it close it just it's so light and it catches the air so easily and then those seeds will come right off of there you can see here's one that got caught just on the plant itself pretty amazing so we're going to see about growing some because I love this plant. Here's a seed pod. You see it's already split open and we'll just open it up. Look at that. It's like they're all like little peas in a pod but their little parachutes are all lined up and closed off. So we'll just grab these guys. We're going to do a little wild harvesting of the seeds. Look at that. It's really easy to take the little parachutes off, but that's the seeds. There's another one. You see the seed pot is split open, so I know that it's ready to pop. Um, I'd rather get them now than take some green ones that are undeveloped. So this bush had a bunch of pods. I just found these two. It was pretty easy. All right, that should be enough. So I've cut a tin can apart, or a soda can, and I'm gonna make some labels. And I think this is a great way to label your stuff. I use a ballpoint pen and a soft surface underneath. So in this case, I call it orange milkweed, and I put the, the year on here. That way we know what it is. Make a bunch of these things. And cut the ends. So they stick into the dirt real easy. This is the best method for making tags. They don't fade and they don't disintegrate. You make some of these and they'll last forever. All right, so here's our pots that we're gonna do. Um, again, tin cans, aluminum cans, excuse me, soda cans. Drill a hole in the bottom, fill it up with potting soil, right up almost to the top and we're going to put the seeds in just right on top of that. And this way we know that they're going to be close to the top and we're going to probably put, I don't know, what three or four in each one. Got to have a, a, a few choices, a few chances for them to grow. But this method works great. You know, these aluminum cans are reusable and they're basically you're reusing instead of recycling you're reducing the waste so we're just gonna fill the top up with some more of this potting mix you know this is a great thing for kids teach them about conserving our materials and growing things and you know if you get these beautiful flowers growing in your yard you're doing a good job Let's put those labels in there so we can tell them apart from all the other stuff we're growing. Let's take this chance. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with some people that you know, maybe on some other sites. Comment about what it is that you like to grow in the comments below. Definitely smash the like button and subscribe. All we need now is some water. 
you want to soak the whole can. Remember it's dry at the bottom so make sure it gets enough. And don't go too heavy. You want to make sure that the seeds stay in there. If it gets too agitated it'll grow. Come out to the top. Here's one that uh, I planted last season. And you can see those flowers are already starting. I was dressed in a little pot. This one I did in the ground and look at that. Lots of flowers already, couple seed pods. This is a happy butterfly weed. And look at that. There's some seed pods on there. Some more. There's some big ones. Again, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and uh, enjoy your garden. Peace.